What's up, guys? Tim Halst of the Drag Boss Garage. Wanted to show you how I put a vacuum pump on a 351 Cleveland. There's no bolt-on systems for a Cleveland. I contacted Star Machine and talked with Steve Fassett, who helped build this system for a Cleveland. There's plenty of systems for a Windsor, but none noted for our beloved Cleveland. This is one of the best vacuum pumps in the industry. It looks great, it's lightweight, and is efficient. It comes as a kit with everything you need. It will use a cog style belt. The advantage of a vacuum pump is to pick up some extra horsepower. To take advantage of that, you need a vacuum pump, low tension ring package, and gas ported pistons. Now this is the subplate. Bolts onto the head, whether it's aluminum head or an iron Cleveland head. And attached to that is the bracket for the vacuum pump, the blue piece. It also has rods that are adjustable. You actually have to buy different length rods to help align your pulley system. I received my pulley parts and advice from Jones Racing Products. They carry everything you can think of. Every configuration of pulley, spacer, look them up. It's one of the best looking vacuum pump systems I've seen. Look at that. It comes with the hoses that go to the separator tank, which is a work of art itself. There's the top of it there on the left. And I've never really had to drain anything out of that system. But I also will tell you this, I never really picked up anything with a vacuum pump. People can debate that on here. We got a conversation going. So I added this section of the video as it may help other people that are getting their cars ready for the season. But I run Caltrax, but with stock Ford shocks that have a pin type mounting end. Not a lot of shocks available for that. Most are a GM style with a bolt. So I got an AFCO adapter. You can see it here in the picture. And what I did is I took that and welded it to the bracket on the Caltrack leaf spring mounting plate. You can see there how I welded it on. Worked out awesome. Now I run Mark Menser's front and rear shocks. He's a sponsor. He hooked me up with the shocks. Need any shocks? Talk to Mark. Now I can run different style shocks in regards to the mounting bracket. I'm not limited. There are many different brands you can buy out there. Suspension is one of the main things to get that 60 foot down. You can make all the power you want, but if you're not getting it to the track, it's affecting your 60 foot, which is gonna affect your ET. I run double adjustable shocks. The adjustment knobs, there's one there you can see, the other one is inside the trunk. Now an important thing in this picture, on the left side of that U-bolt is a gusset. If you're running Caltrax with or without their monoleaf and your car's making power, you better think about putting a gusset there or you will tear that rear end out. Stay tuned to DBG for way more.